What makes a great shootout? Realistic characters with actual emotional stakes? Historical accuracy? Excellently choreographed action? A ballet of brutality? You can find all of these things in the very best Western films, especially the more action-packed ones. If you're looking for some gunslinging genius, check out this list of the 10 most iconic shootouts in Western movie history. The Quick and the Dead Herod rules the town of Redemption with an iron fist, and whenever he resorts to violence, which is often, it's a masterpiece on screen in this classic 90s film. Played by Gene Hackman, Herod is downright ruthless, refusing to be slighted in any way, even killing one character who claims to be his son. Tombstone Tombstone is likely one of the best westerns ever made, so it's not surprising that it has two entries on the list. First up is the Creek Ambush. During Wyatt Earp's ride, he and his second group of marshals are hunting the cowboys down and run into a group of them led by Curly Bill Brocious just outside of Tombstone. Earp and his men are pinned down, and much like a football game with 10 seconds left on the clock, someone needs to make a play. Earp's eyes suddenly change into those of a man without fear, and he begins to approach Bill. Bill shoots at Earp three times from point-blank range and misses all three shots before Earp takes him out with his shotgun. The best part? Everything, even the three missed shots, actually happened and are well documented. Open Range After Boss Spearman and Charlie Waite had been tormented by the presence of Denton Baxter, they show up in town ready to avenge their friend Mose, who had been gunned down by Baxter's men. The two start in after an exchange of not-so-pleasantries and find themselves outnumbered at the start. Luckily for them, the townspeople pull an endgame and join up with the two fighters to take down the ruthless Baxter and his men in a bloody, amazing showdown. The Dollars Trilogy Naturally, the main conflict from each of Clint Eastwood and Sergio Leone's infamous Dollars Trilogy made the list. First up, A Fistful of Dollars. Clint Eastwood's The Stranger arrives in a western town and discovers he can play two rival families against each other and make some money. A series of escalating confusions and surprises aids The Stranger in his self-appointed task, all leading up to a final confrontation and iconic gunfight. In a scene that was later used by Michael J. Fox's Marty McFly in Back to the Future 3, the stranger straps on a metal chest plate and taunts his enemies, the Rojos, to aim for the heart. They comply and are surprised when none of the shots kill the man they fear. After they exhaust their ammunition, they are easy pickings for the stranger. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly In perhaps the most iconic standoff of all time, Clint Eastwood's Blondie, Eli Wallach's Tuco, and Lee Van Cleef's Angel Eyes share the ultimate gotcha moment. The hunt for fugitive Bill Carson reveals a $200,000 bounty for a pair of bounty scammers, Blondie and Tuco. Meanwhile, Angel Eyes has also been on the hunt for Carson and is able to catch up to the pair. Tuco is pretending to be Carson when they are taken prisoner by Union forces. As any bounty hunter worth their salt would, the pair escape each with one detail about where the gold is buried. Eventually, the three meet up at the cemetery with the gold bounty and the face-off with angel eyes. Will they turn on each other too? For a few dollars more. Rounding out the Dollars trilogy, For a Few Dollars More depicts the man with no name, Clint Eastwood, collecting yet even more bounties on criminals. In the film's final act, a shootout ensues when the villain's plan backfires, leading to all-out chaos in a haze of bullets. Tombstone, again. Wyatt Earp spoke for all of us when he said, Oh. My. God. Knowing that violence is about to erupt, Earp's sentiments perfectly anticipate the blitz of action to come. Tombstone, which has been renowned for its overall historical accuracy, did not disappoint when it delivered a slightly longer but relatively true-to-life reenactment of perhaps the most famous shootout in history, the gunfight at the OK Corral. The fight, which began at about 3 p.m. on October 26, 1881, lasted only about 30 seconds. 
The Kurt Russell film lasts a little longer, but the end result is about the same. A bloody barrage of bullets, leaving several men dead. True Grit One of the best gunfights in Western cinema takes place in the only film which garnered John Wayne an Academy Award. The film, later remade by the Coen brothers, tells the story of Rooster Cogburn, who is enlisted to hunt the man that killed the young girl's father. Maddie, the girl, insists on joining him in the pursuit. The film's final shootout shows Cogburn being taunted, being called a one-eyed fat man, before Cogburn kills several members of the gang he's pursuing before his horse is shot and collapses on him. Just when all hope seems lost and Cogburn may actually be killed, Cogburn and his partner rise up and channel their inner Indiana Jones, shooting the villain down in a snake pit. Why did it have to be snakes? 310 to Yuma What do you get when you offer hundreds of dollars to townsfolk to help you get your gang's leader back? Well, you get exactly what you'd expect, an all-out war. Rich criminal Ben Wade, in an effort to set him free from a one-way ticket to Yuma prison, offers money to anyone who helps retrieve him from the armed escort. With a great deal of tension and some of the best shootouts in recent Western memory, this modern remake of an old classic is overflowing with action. Unforgiven Often considered one of the best Westerns ever made, Unforgiven does not disappoint when delivering an epic shootout. Clint Eastwood's film features a legendary final act in which his character, a drunken Will Money, faces five gunslingers. Even after his weapon misfires, he manages to finish the fight victorious with bodies strewn over the saloon floor. In true Eastwood style, the character is just too intimidating for the fifth man to pull the trigger at all. Now that's a shootout.